More money for roads without a tax increase. Some state lawmakers say that's the highlight of the budget agreement they've reached for South Carolina. But there are critics who say it doesn't solve that problem. News 2's Robert Kittle tells us what's in the budget and how it would affect you. The final state budget includes taking $200 million out of the general fund and using that to borrow more than $2 billion to fix existing roads and bridges. Senator Tom Davis was one of the conference committee members that worked out the final budget. My argument was that in a year we've got over a billion dollars in new revenue. We ought to be talking about committing that money to pay for those roads and bridges and not raising gas taxes. Uh, there's no reason to go back to the people of South Carolina and ask for a tax increase when we have surplus funds here in Columbia. One of the biggest criticisms of the budget is that by using $200 million for roads, that's $200 million that cannot be used for things like education, law enforcement, and health care. The budget does include a 2% raise for teachers and more than $200 million more for schools. It includes $72 million to match federal money for flood recovery, including road and bridge repairs, and $40 million for grants to farmers whose crops were damaged or destroyed by the floods. Senator Vincent Shaheen was also on the Budget Conference Committee. Unfortunately, Governor Haley said that she was going to veto any long-term funding source for our roads, and that meant that the only thing that the legislature could do, unless we could override her veto, uh, was to take money from schools, take money from police, take money from other areas, and use that money uh, to try to rebuild the roads of the state. Senator Davis says all those areas are getting more money, just not as much as they would have liked. In Columbia, Robert Kittle, News 2. And keep in mind, that's just the budget. There's a separate roads bill. House Speaker Jay Lucas told the House about an hour ago that the Senate is holding up that bill over the issue of reforming the Department of Transportation.